The site where Mary McKillop established her first school is being dug up by researchers. A Flinders University team is hunting secrets about the saint's past and has already unearthed historic artefacts. This is where St Mary of the Cross converted a six-stalled stable into St Joseph's School in 1866. These days the building is gone, but hidden treasures are thought to remain. We're hoping to excavate the front of the site and the back of the site to try and understand what's going on across this site, so where the buildings might have been located and whether we can find any traces of the original stable building. This week, 15 staff and students from Flinders Uni are sifting through the soil and have already found several items believed to date back to Mary's time. We found some bits of uh, slate which could have been used for writing on um, and some slate which also could have been used for pencils. Also some uh, glass and bottles, bits of ceramic and also the base of a, an oil lamp. SA Tourism has helped fund the project with hopes any discoveries will attract more visitors to the town. This site is going to be developed into a very sort of low-key reflective garden for, as part of the Mary McKillop story. So the community really did want to know where the stable building was located on this site. Panola will celebrate one year since the Saints' canonisation on October 16. Ben Avery, Nine News.